What's up, Sneaker Fam? It's your boy McFly, the hardest working man at Shoe Tame and today. Coming at you again with another real review. If this is your first time over in Atlanta, McFly, man, I welcome you. If this isn't your first time, welcome back, man. We in this joint. Today, we got a Nike by you, man. My third, well, actually, it's like my fifth Nike by you creation, but it's my third personal uh, for myself Nike uh, by you creation, man. They had this... Um, women's joint with the with the reptilian print and i was like yeah let me go ahead and see if i can create one of these man so i came up with the charlotte knights colorway not night as in like night and shining armor but knights as in nighttime charlotte knights on these joints man and i think they came out pretty good man this is actually my second attempt at this shoe i made one and um, I don't know if I had my settings wrong or if Nike actually messed up, but that shoe, <laughs> it came in, man. It was horrible, so I, I had to return it. I'll put a picture in here. Hopefully, it'll show it so you guys can see it, man. That thing was bad. I mean, it was oogly. <laughs> super, super duper oogly. But luckily, I didn't know you could return um, Nike IDs. Sorry, Nike by you. They don't call them Nike IDs no more, but I didn't know you could return those, so I was, I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy about that that I could return that pair because I thought I thought I was stuck with it. But um, yeah, man, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about these this particular pair. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did I do a good job? Am I failing and need to retire from doing um, Nike by use? <clears throat> let me know. But to get into the review, man, this is a Nike Air Max One. Duh, as you can see, we got that two tone outsole on that joint, the teal with the green. If you're new here and don't know, I am a Charlotte, North Carolina native. I um, currently reside in Charlotte, North Carolina. So a lot of the things that I do, if I have an opportunity to create something, it's going to be a Charlotte colorway, whether home or away, either the Panthers or something in the state representing um, North Carolina. And your visible air unit, it is teal in there. Make sure to do that with your black midsole. Black midsole on the joint, wrapping all the way around. <clears throat> As you get into your upper, it is a all leather upper. You can see the uh, greenish tinted reptilian print, purple swoosh there. Wraps all around the back, all around the side. Swoosh is the same as well as the ankle collar um, up here. Other than that, your uh, leather underlays are purple with some little hits of black on the joint. So this was actually my first um, Air Max One that was leather, all leather. And that's why I really wanted it because I have a bunch of like the suede mesh combos, how they normally do. But I was like, yeah, I want an all leather one just to see um, how that would look. You can see the heel. I put that uh, teal Nike Air branding on the back. Coming up to the tongue, this tongue, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know what's going on with my throat. This tongue is leather as well. And you have the teal Nike Air Max tag up here with the teal laces. Um, I don't know how these laces would be, but they turned out pretty good. Interior on the insole is black with your uh, white Nike Air in there. But overall, man, I feel like this shoe is fire. I think I did a really, really, really good job on these. Um, these came in like two or three weeks. It didn't even take that long. I think it was probably two weeks. Uh, no, I think these came in three weeks and the first pair came in two. So, no real errors on the shoe. I haven't even factory unlaced this one yet, but, you know, I was I was so excited. I put that one pair on because the original one that I got, it fit kind of tight. And so I was like, yeah, I need to get, I need to size up as well as redo the shoe so um i did both of those and now i have my own fire creation that i plan to destroy the streets with sometime real soon you know real 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 soon so let me know in the comments man you like this shoe did i do a decent job would you buy these if they dropped them because i made them you was like nah you ain't gonna buy them just because just because you made them you know what i'm saying um either way this was women's sizing so i got that big boy 16 and a half which is a men's 15 and uh 
yeah comfort on these is pretty solid of course it's just the air max so definitely um go at least a half size up in your air maxes um which was ironic because in my air max ones i normally go true to size in those that's one of the few ones that i can go true to size in but um for these i definitely had to size up to get the type of fit that i was wanting and i don't know if it's because it's an all leather shoe or because those other materials aren't as constricting restricting or constricting to your foot maybe but um yeah i definitely had to go up with the all with the all leather so it is what it is man just wanted to put that out there and let you guys know solid shoe so happy i made it shout out to nike and the id slash buy you project man we really appreciate y'all keep doing it keep giving access and keep letting us create these gems as long as y'all don't release them trying to act like y'all did it okay thank you uh, appreciate you guys coming through watching the review and all that man until next time it's your boy mcfly man i'll holler at you